and welcome back to the channel. On this video, I want to talk about e-bike insurance. Yeah, it's not very common. You don't hear too much talk about e-bike insurance, but I'm going to talk about it today. And the reason why I'm going to talk about it, because you hear about e-bike accidents and such, and people are saying, oh, the bikes go a little bit fast. Okay, well, we can get e-bike insurance, but um, the other thing I think about, though, with e-bike insurance is the cost of the bikes, right? Today, uh, let's face it, e-bikes are not cheap. And um, I'll give you an example. The bike I have coming very shortly here is the uh, Graffiti X, Lyric Graffiti X. And that bike is listed now at $4,599. So that's a pretty good amount of money to pay out for a bike. And if you ever had an issue with, you know, the bike getting stolen or anything like that, and that's uh, money out the window there that you're uh, probably not going to ever get back. So I found this, uh, this was uh, just searching around the internet for e-bike stories as I'm kind of a e-bike geek, I guess you'd call it. I like looking at, uh, you know, to see what's going on in the e-bike world. And I came across uh, a company called Voom, uh, V-O-O-M which sells e-bike insurance. So that intrigued me and I started looking into it a little bit. I do not have insurance on any of my bikes, but um, it is uh, interesting. And uh, I wanted to get grab my paper here because I do have a list of the states that do offer this. I will leave a link in the description for this company. They offer uh, insurance not only for e-bikes, but for regular uh, mountain bikes and, and et cetera. Um, so you can go check them out, and uh, like I say, I will leave a link in the description. But um, they offer a comp uh, comprehensive uh, bicycle insurance, and so they offer uh, a custom, customized coverage to fit your uh, bike uh, and riding style. So depending on what you want uh, in insurance uh, coverage, uh, the price will, is obviously going to vary. And they say that the uh, Prices start at $100 a year, which is pretty reasonable when you think about it. Uh, that's only, what, $8 and change a month. So pretty cheap, pretty good, I would say. So uh, they do offer insurance for things like spare parts, cycling apparel, and accessories. Um, not everybody's going to want to get that. That's going to, of course, add to your price of your insurance. I didn't fill out the form to get a quote. I didn't want to take the time to do it. But if you're seriously looking into it, I guess you could at least get a quote and see exactly how much uh, you would have to pay according to what you want to have um, insured on the bike. And also, it's going to go by the model of bike you have and other things like that. Um, so you might want to check that if you're interested in this. They offer liability protection, physical damage coverage, medical payments, and theft protection. So like I say, the bikes are not cheap. And let's face it, a lot of e-bikes are getting getting uh, stolen these days and uh, nothing worse than uh, going back outside to retrieve your bike and it's gone. You know, somebody stole it and uh, not a good feeling for sure. So it uh, might be something uh, worth looking into. They cover a wide range of uh, bikes, like I say, including electric bikes, mountain bikes, etc. So it's not just e-bikes, but that's one of them. And... Uh, Pretty interesting. I think we're going to see more of this, you know, as the bikes get a little bit faster, they're a little heavier. Um, they're kind of moving into moped motorcycle territory. Some people will say they already are a moped, but um, oh, that's an argument for another day. I mean, I'm not uh, in disagreement with that because the bikes, let's face it, do go beyond 28 miles per hour even. Um, some of them go into the 30s, 40s, and some are even 50 miles an hour. And that's starting to get way beyond uh, bicycle or moped speeds even. But I think I can see in the future here, so when we get above 28 miles per hour, which is class 3, I could see some kind of a, a license or insurance needed. I could see them doing this in the future. And... Um, at hopefully at a minimal cost. We, you know, who wants to go and spend a fortune? The whole point of the e-bike thing is to um, protect the environment for one and also to save money. Um, you know, nobody wants to uh, start forking out money. You may as well go back to your car, you know, your gas powered car 
or motorcycle and uh, and forget the electric bike. But uh, we don't want to get to that. So if it's a minimal amount of insurance, that might be okay. But I can see it, like I say, in bikes that are getting above 28 miles per hour to say 35. Like my, my favorite spot would be 35 miles an hour and a bike that's capable of going 40 just to give that buffer of five miles per hour so you're not pinning the bike right to 40 miles an hour or 35 miles per hour all the time. So I'd like to see, and I like that 25 to 35 miles per hour is perfect because a lot of times you don't even get up, at least I don't, 235 miles per hour is like 25, <clears throat> but occasionally you'll get onto a road that has no bike lane and uh, if there's and there's, sometimes there's no cars around, so I just go a little over 30 or 30 miles an hour uh, myself. But um, but yeah, the I think the insurance could be uh, could be something worth looking into if you especially if you got a more expensive bike, right? And uh, let's face it, though, even a $1,500 bike is not like a $200 bike. Um, but I do have a list here of the states that offer this because Boom does not offer it to every state yet but they're working on it. But here's the list. I'm gonna go through the list and um, this is no particular order. I just took it from what they, uh, what I found on there. And you might hear birds chirping in the background. That's just a couple of barricades that we have here. Okay, so here's the states that are currently offering uh, insurance from Boom for bike, e-bike. So here we go in no particular order. Arizona, Indiana, Illinois, Ohio, Wisconsin, Oklahoma, Oregon, Maryland, Iowa, Texas, Missouri, Alabama, Colorado, Tennessee, and Minnesota. And they say soon they'll be in more states. So if you didn't hear your state there, it's coming. Uh, just give it time and uh, eventually you'll get it. And like I say, the starting price is $100 uh, and up. So the $100 may actually be for bicycles. The the electric bike may be a little more. It may be, you may end up paying $150, $200. But uh, it still might be something worth looking at. And like I say, eventually we may end up having to do this, but hopefully uh, it's minimal. Like I, I like the uh, $10 a month range. Um, that's about as good as I'd want, as much as I'd want to pay, but we'll see. Anyway, that's going to do it for this video. Uh, I just wanted to talk a little bit about that insurance. I will leave a link in the description. Uh, so if you want to check out this website and maybe you want to get a quote. And if you know of any other uh, uh, places there, insurance companies that are offering uh, insurance for your e-bikes, let us know in the comments because uh, I'd be interested in looking at that and also... Uh, I would like uh, if our uh, viewers can uh, can read in and share with that as well uh, that that information. So uh, if you uh, know of any, please uh, share with us, and uh, we appreciate that here as we try to make the uh, e-bike uh, world uh, kind of go in one good smooth direction. So it's it's kind of nice to uh, share with others uh, information if we know any. So that's going to do it for this video. And if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you'd like to subscribe and help support the channel, thank you very much for doing that. Just hit that subscribe button. If you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell. And also, if you want to comment on this video or any other video, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. And once again, thank you for joining us on this video. And until next time. Keep your wheels on the road. See you later.